Hey guys, Ethan here for Plague Duck Profile. Obviously the buddy is Yosodius, it can be anything though, or size zero or anything, but I like having this big size freeze with my buddy. Got the buddy there of course, because nice and shiny. Obviously Flag Magic World, goes without saying. Two new Chaos Parvo. This card is really good, you can possibly run four of it if you want to. It's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. Bot plagues both on your drop zone into this card's soul, play a gauge, all souls and play in plague on your field, can't punch souls in by opponent's card effects, so really good obviously stopping um, Loki and stuff like that. And it's size zero, and when you cast a spell for this turn, all cards in your field get, um, all cards on your opponent's field get minus 1k, minus 1k, and it has soul guard. So overall, a really good size zero. If it, didn't, if it was up to one spell card for your drop zone into its soul, it would be, definitely be running it three or four, but because it has to have one in there, it's not too great because it slows down um, having soul for World Pandemic and stuff. Next, free Vary Cellular. Uh, Death Fake Gaster. 2 1 1, so 0. You should get what this guy does. Uh, when it enters field, look at top three cards, put to one plague, spell the item among them into your hand, only once per turn. Unfortunately, a lot of the cards in this deck are mandatory and, was, and named once per turn, but it makes it fair. So, these are really good. One of the really good size freeze that size zero that I really like, and I'm glad we got this because it speeds up World Pandemic a lot. Death Blade cast a model, uh, 3 1 1, size zero. At the beginning of your opponent's turn, you may put a card from your hand into the soul of a plague on your field. It doesn't have to be item, can be monster, etc., so it's really good in general. And you draw a card, which is really good. So, yes, yeah, really good size zero to help speed up, um, to help speed up the plague deck. I get the soul, souls into your item and also to get the mycotoxin and stuff into the soul, the cards that are kind of useless in hand. Next, we only have one, one, one Chaos Yusinius. We need to run, I need at least one more, but you can run between what, two and four. I need one more though for this. Um, he's, a, he's a really good overkill, like the really stupid overkill for this deck that this deck really wants. He's a 6 2 6 size 3, penetrate soul guard, and put soul guard in your deck and this card soul 2 gauge. So again, you don't need cards in, dro in the drop zone, which is really good. And when you cast a spell, you gauge one, gain a life, and deal damage to your opponent, only once per turn, not named, which is good. Overkill, discard a card from your hand, join your main phase, put up to three plague spells with different card names from your deck into your hand, shuffle your deck. So obviously, searches out World Pandemic, Incubation Period, and just like all your good spell cards that you need contagion gel, uh, latent infection, anything that you need at the time. It's just a really good overkill in general. Like I said, I need at least one more. Next, for Buddy. Goes without saying, obviously, Buddy, you win most of it. This will probably drop down to three when I have another Yusinius. Maybe if I can get far, three more secret uh, model, I'll probably buddy him. But yeah, Yusinius, Chaos Yusinius is easy about the one, but he's still really good. You can cast Plague from, your, from its soul. Double attack soul guard, 75 size three. Up to two Plague spells from your drop zone into its soul. And overkill of two life during your main phase to gauge six. So it's really good if you don't have the soul that you need. Next, two hot zone. One's in the side deck. You don't really need more than two. Um, but it's really a good card. Uh, when you may cast this card, you may pay this cast without paying the core cost, the cast cost. If your item on your field has three or more soul spells in soul, which it most likely will, it's normally a cost of one gauge, but it becomes three. And counter for this turn, all items and monsters on your opponent's field become minus 3k, minus 3k. So obviously, reduces that power and defense, so you can either hit them easier or make it so they don't can't hit you. Next, two million and tuba. Tuma, counter choose a card in your field for this. For the next time, it will be destroyed in the main field. So basically, just a way of soul guard. And if you have, and yeah, it's basically just another soul guard. And it's a kill spell, so it's a plague spell, sorry, so you win it. Next, two epidemic outbreak. I'm also wants to put up this up to three. Um, it's really good. It's a plague spell, and you put up to one plague monster or item from your drop zone into your hand. Then, if an item on your field has a plague spell in its soul, which they will, you gauge and get a life. Another one of the monster turn, but it is really good. To help get them, because if you pay a gauge for anything, like um, uh, you're sitting into anything and you, there's an item in your drop zone and you don't have an item in hand, it's really good just to get it back. Two Solomon's Wall, this probably might go up to three depending on stuff, and also I need the box topper from the next set, from the new set with newer chaos, but it's still a really good card. Put a spell for you, drop zone, about your deck, pay a gauge, counter, choose and use one of the following two, either rest something on your opponent's field, rest a monster on your opponent's field, or deal de or next damage dealt to you is reduced to zero. So really good card, and I'm a lot better than Solomon's Shield. Two Narcolepsy, you definitely need more than two. Can search out obviously with Chaos for this, etc. If an item on your field has six or more plague spells in its soul, the cost for this gauge written on this card is reduced by three. 
So it just becomes a discarded card for its card cost, but yeah. normally it's a discarded card and pay for your gauge to counter rest all monsters and items on the opponent's field. Uh, okay. Completely shut down a turn. The opponent just uses the overturn of uh, bats or something to resend everything, you just cast this, rest it all, come, ends uh, overturn. Really good card, especially if you've got six or more spells in the sword, becomes basically free. Free Master Toxin, I hate this card with passion, it's awful. But you have it for the, that bottom effect where it, if it's in the soul of the plague, it can't be put into the drop zone and it can't be nullified and neither can the card that it's on the, in the soul of. So if you put it against stars or something or anything that negates stuff, the item can't be negated if this is in the soul. So that's the only reason why you win it. Especially, I did win it at two because it was so bad, but because we have um, a model where he gets, lets you get it into soul from hand, which is really good. So we play three of it just so you have it in the soul and have less cards in your soul that can be taken for the effects. Free Contagious Weakening Gas, this card is silly and really good. Spell, Plague, obviously. Only cast it if you're a Plague on your field. Counter, choose a card in your opponent's field. For this turn, when it attacks, you <coughs> pop your opponent's gauge and deal one. You don't really use that effect too often, but it's really good as well. But you mostly use it for its last effect. If this card is in the soul of a Plague, all cards in your opponent's field get 1k, 1k. Not named, not worded, not anything like that. So, if you have three of these in the soul, or more, they all park at once. So, if three of these in the soul, minus 3k, minus 3k, 2 minutes full board. Which is really powerful. Oh. Wow, that's good. Next, three nice one. This will probably be going up to four as well, just to help get the draw past this to play a lot of cards in the deck. Obviously, you know what a nice one does. Three Enigma Virus. This card is really strong. Counter for this turn. If you have a Plague on item on your field, your opponent cannot call monsters by card effects, so it stops Takasuke's overturn. And it also stops uh, Fairy uh, from just killing you, with from just dropping your items and stuff by just casting this when they do their toilet, so... And also, um, this card in soul can't be put in the drop zone by effects, which is good. And if so, if it can't be moved from the soul by card effects, and if any other soul from a plague on your field will drop zone by card effect, you deal damage to your opponent. Not named, not must return. So if there's three of these and one card is put, free damage. And if one's there and I think like five of them are put at the same time, they don't park a five as far as I'm aware because it's not named, one not must return. So, really good card. You only need three of it, you don't really need four. Oh. Next, free latent infection. You still run three of these because Loki. That's basically the only reason you win it. You don't really use it for the first effect of five life. You only use it to stop souls in cards and field being put into drop zone. Because it's for the whole turn, which is good. So, and it's only it almost stops stuff from my field. So, a toilet can still get rid of their soul, but it's still really good, and you definitely only run three of it because you you side the other one if need be. Obviously, like the strongest card in the deck, pandemic. It's simply easy to get out, especially now after we're new World Chaos. Um, can be searched. You need to turn your opponent's flag face down. The game doesn't end, so if you're low deck, there's still a chance you can deck out before you kill your opponent because most things in this deck have low crit. Um, so yeah, it's basically a win condition because most people will scoop if your deck's high enough, but if you've got a very low deck, some opponents, if they're high life, will just wait it out and see if you deck out before you can kill them. Because with your item and your normal draw face, you, you have to draw two a turn. So if you're low deck, it can hurt you even if you manage to cast it, you can still lose. So be wary of that. That's why, that's why most plague decks run a lot more than 50 cards. I'm running as little more than 50 cards as I can, but I still have to go up to like almost 60, if not more. So, for Contagion Gel, it's good, a gauge, nullify attack, and then an item. And if you've got an item on plague and it's soul, the choose a card in your opponent's field and it gets minus crit. This will be removed for the new uh, plague spell from Buddy Legends. Because that's a lot better than this. It doesn't nullify attack, but it reduces crit of everything in your opponent's field. So yeah, that'll be replaced when that comes out. When Blood Legends comes out. For God's be loading, it's a gauge and draw just for having plague in your field. And then if a soul and if your item has two or more plague spells in its soul, you gain two life. It is a word in once per turn, unfortunately, but it's really strong. It's basically a better Dragon Emperor Legend. So there's no reason why you don't run it, especially not a four. Good save. Four searcher, because. We need our items, we need our monsters, so obviously play for Surger. Unfortunately it costs a gauge, but it needs to play cost a gauge to be fair. And it is a plague spell itself, so cast it and you got an instant uh, soul for your item. For incubation period, I wish this cat act worked as it did in the anime where you're guaranteed to get two off the top every time. If you get two off the top, it's amazing. If you get nothing, it's trash. So you still run four because it's like the best speed way of getting cards in soul. It's a word of monster return, unfortunately, so if you get nothing, you're screwed. But it's still like one of the best cards in the deck, so that's why you're four. Next, for the item, the deck that makes the the card that makes the deck go round, obviously. Pay a life to equip it, so you need at least obviously one more than one life. Free to add uh, stats don't really matter. Act to choose a plague spell in your drop zone, and you may rest this card if you do. The chosen card from your drop zone, the plague, chosen plague spell in your drop zone goes into its soul, and you gain a life. 
So the equip cost is kind of pointless because you're going to gain life anyway from the effect. And at the beginning of your turn, if this card has three or more salt, you draw a card, and it's got salt card, which it really needs. So yeah, the only problem with this, like I say with this deck, is a lot of the stuff is mandatory. That's mandatory. Uh, this puts the rest of your drop zone mandatory, so it can deck you out. Uh, a lot of the monsters are mandatory. He's not mandatory, which is good, because if he was, he'd be bad. He's mandatory, so if you're low deck and you call him, you ha if you don't get any placeable items, you have to mill free, essentially, so that's pretty bad. So yeah, the deck it has a lot of problem, has problems, but it is really good. So basically, this deck will be like top tier as soon as they make it extremely fast to get that um, win condition off. Then we can drop our deck size to 50 and make it more consistent, and then not worry about deck out if they make it faster. So I've been on long enough. I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with Shiny Chaos Yusinius. So happy gaming, guys.